Senator, let me follow up by asking, do you think that the CIA and military intelligence agencies and the FBI have used the emergency provisions, both in law and by emergency agency, the uh, Federal Preparedness Agency it's called now, to, to have contingency plans which threaten the liberty of American citizens? Mr. Rowan, in due course, the committee will pass judgment on those questions. I'm not going to pre-guess the committee or prematurely attempt to pass judgment on this program. But let me tell you this. In the need to develop a capacity to know what potential enemies are doing, the United States government has perfected a technological capability that enables us to monitor the messages that go through the air. Uh, these messages uh, are between ships at sea. They can be between units, uh, military units in the field. We have a very extensive capability of intercepting messages wherever they may be in the airwaves. Now that is necessary and important to the United States as we look abroad at enemies or potential enemies. We must know. At the same time, that capability at any time could be turned around on the American people. And no American would have any privacy left, such as the capability to monitor everything, telephone conversations, telegrams, it doesn't matter. There would be no place to hide if this government ever became a tyranny, if a dictator ever took charge in this country the technological capacity that the intelligence community has given the government could enable it to impose total tyranny. And there would be no way to fight back because the most careful effort to combine together in resistance to the government, no matter how privately it was done, is within the reach of the government to know. Such is the capability of this technology. Now, why is this investigation important? I'll tell you why. Because I don't want to see this country ever go across the bridge. I know the capacity that is there to make tyranny total in America. And we must see to it that this agency and all agencies that possess this technology operate within the law and under proper supervision so that we never cross over that abyss. There, that's the abyss from which there is no return. Wake up, America! Our freedoms are at stake! You know, we can all try to pursue happiness, but if the government takes away your liberty, then there is no pursuit of happiness. And remember that if the government is able to take away your liberty, then the next thing it's going to be able to take away is your life. People don't care. You know, we're losing the country. Things are so bad now. The momentum is so strong and we're going, I mean, we're like lemmings going off a cliff. I know we're all so busy in our routines and schedules, but I swear if you got online and you Googled NDAA, you might be surprised at what's really happening in this country. There is a liberty movement happening in America right now. There are people who are drawing lines in the sand. You're taking away our rights. These are our rights. How the hell are you taking them away? I didn't know you could do this. Aren't we supposed to have checks and balances? How is the government signing this executive order? How are they pushing this through? How's the Supreme Court ruling this? Like, it's not, where's our balance of powers? We're not growing up in the same period of time that our grandparents did. You know, even our parents, they grew up in a different world. They had just beaten Hitler. America was prosperous. You know, we're growing up in an America that looks like it has no future. This is about real issues. This isn't about whether you have an R or a D in front of your name. What's going to happen now with the politics, with what's happening in the country? I've got children. They can't find jobs. But the whole world is in trouble financially because it's the biggest financial bubble in the history of the world. I'm honestly scared for the future if we can't get rid of our debt now. Um, we're inheriting all that as like the youth of this generation. Our greatest threat today, worldwide and in this country, 
country is a financial collapse. The U.S. government right now is in debt more than the entire output of planet Earth. When you see things taking place with the economy, you don't just all of a sudden get fired from your job without seeing some signs of something. Our federal government is coming down on people all over the country right now with a show of violence. You can go, go online and see video after video where the police are brutalizing people. The Constitution is supposed to protect us from the government and the government is claiming that they can protect us. And any time that you start hearing that, it's time to be afraid. The first time in U.S. history that our government will, will be able to force us to buy a commercial product that we don't want. That on the surface is completely un-American and unconstitutional. Those who promote big government for whatever reason are tyrants, and they want to go back to the tyranny of the ages. We want something new and wonderful, freedom for the individual. I need you to ask yourself one question. Are you prepared to fight? See, anybody can step into the ring, but can you win?